I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some practice questions to understand interval notation. The question here is represent the following using interval notation. x is greater than minus 5 less than 5, x is greater than equal to minus 7 less than equal to 3, x is less than 10, x is greater than equal to 0, x is less than minus 4 and x is greater than equal to 7, x is greater than minus 6 less than minus 7 and the other part is x is greater than equal to 5. So these are the intervals given as an inequality. You can pause the video, write them in interval notation, right? Here is the solution. When I say x is between minus 5 and 5, where both are not included, we'll write it as minus 5 to 5 both not included, correct? In the second case, minus 7 and 3 are included and therefore we'll use these brackets which are the square brackets, correct? So, so use square brackets. Now we have x is less than 10. Less than 10 means it could go up to negative infinity which can never be included so it is negative infinity to 10. 10 is also not included so open brackets. Then we have x is greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to means square bracket starting from 0 up to infinite, which should not be included. Now we have slightly complicated situation. x is less than minus 4. That means it will go to minus infinity, right? So this is not equal to. And now when we use comma, we could use or. We could use or. So these are two examples of disjunctions. Or you could also use union. So I'll use union in this case. And then we have x is greater than or equal to 7, which means 7 is included and will go to infinity. So or this. Now we could, as I said, use union, which I'm going to do here now. The last example. x is between minus 6 and minus 1. Both are not included. So it's kind of like this. Union, which is same as or x is greater than or equal to 5 in this case also 5 is included and it is kind of going up to infinity right and infinity should never be included so that is how you can represent these inequalities in the form of interval notation i hope that helps thank you